Today's video is on binomial distribution and this topic is from probability distribution. So in this video, 20% of items produced from a factory are defective. See, the defective items produced from a factory are defective are 20%. Find the probability that in a sample of 5, chosen at random, none is defective, 1 is defective. And again, we have to find the probability of 1 less than x less than 4. See, what is given here? 20% of the items produced from a factory are defective. And see, and we have to find out the probability that in a sample of 5 chosen at random. So here n is equal to 5. And see, solution. What is P? P is nothing but the probability of defective items. Probability of defective items. So, those are 20%. So, P is equal to 20% and P is equal to, this is 20 by 100. So, if I cancel this one, so P value is equal to 0 0.2. And again, you know that the total probability is always equal to 1. P plus Q is equal to 1. So, if I substitute the P value as 0 0.2, what will be the Q value? So, Q is equal to 1 minus 0 0.2. Q is equal to, this is 0 0.8. Now, we have P value is equal to 0 0.2 and Q value is equal to 0 0.8. And from the question, what is the value of N? So, N is nothing but sample of 5 chosen at random. See, N is taken as 5. N is equal to 5. Now, P is equal to 0 0.2, Q is equal to 0 0.8 and N is equal to 5. And what is the, our first question? So, we have to find the probability that none is defective. So, none is defective. The first solution here is solution 1. None is defective means, so the probability that probability that None is defective, which means that probability of x is equal to 0. Probability of x is equal to 0 we have to find. So, 0 defective items we have to find. So, it is very clear that the formula here is NCR. This is P power R and again Q power N minus R. So, what is the value of P and what is the value of Q and what is the value of N? So, P is equal to 0 0.2, Q is equal to 0 0.8 and N is equal to 5. So, P is equal to 0 0.2, Q is equal to 0 0.8 and N value is equal to 5. And now we have to substitute for 0 defective items. That is probability of x is equal to 0. What is our n value? n is equal to 5c r. r is equal to 0 here. What is our p? 0 0.2 power r0 q 0 0.8 n minus r. n is equal to 5. 5 minus r value is equal to again 0. C. 5c0, the value here is 1. Anything to the power of 0, the value here is 1. This is 0 0.8 power 5. Therefore, the probability of uh, choosing no defective items when 5 items are chosen is 0 0.8. This is 0 0.8 power 5. The value is 0 0.32768. 0 0.32768 and the second question here is so what is the second question one is defective so one is defective the here the probability is 0 0.32768 and the probability that one is defective solution two probability that One is defective. Is we have to find of probability of x is equal to 1. So again the formula here is ncr p power r and this is q power n minus r. And here 
P value is equal to P is equal to 0 0.2, Q is equal to 0 0.8 and N is equal to 5. So if I substitute the same thing, N is equal to, see here, probability of one defective item N, N is equal to 5 C1, R is equal to 1. P power, that is 2 power R. What is R here? R is equal to 1. And next Q power N minus R, that is 5 minus 1. So 5 C1 is 5 into 0 0.2 into this is 0 0.8 power 4. And see, the probability of uh, getting one defective item is equal to. So if I calculate this one, that is 5 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.8 power 4. The value here is 0 0.4096. This is 0 0.4096. The value for one defective item is 0 0.4096. And what is our third question? Third question is we have to find out the probability when x lies between 1 and 4. See the probability when x lies between 1 and 4. Solution 3. Solution 3. 3 is nothing but we have to find probability of 1 less than. See, this is 1 less than x less than 4. So, which means that we have to find out probability of x is equal to 2. 1 greater than. So, x value is greater than 1. That is 2. And here, x is equal to 3. And here, x value is less than 4 means 3. So, we have to find out these two. So, for that, what is the formula here? Here R is equal to 2, here R is equal to 5 and NCR, P power, P is equal to 0 0.1 power R, Q power N minus R that is 5 minus 1, sorry here R is equal to 2, 2, so this is 2 and next one for R is equal to 3 that is NCR, P power R and this is Q power N minus R. So, 5C2, for the shortcut, we have to take two backward steps and next two front steps. This is 0 0.2 whole square and this is 0 0.8 whole cube. So, here three backward steps, that is 5 into 4 into 3 by 1 into 2 into 3. This is 0 0.2 whole cube into 0 0.8 whole square. See, if I cancel these two, this is 10 value and this is again 10. So, here the value is... 10 into 0 0.2 whole square into 0 0.8 whole cube plus 10 into this is 0 0.2 whole cube into 0 0.2 whole square. So if I calculate then this will be see this is 10 into 0 0.2 square into 0 0.8 power 3. The value here is, this value is 0 0.2048 plus and see if I calculate this, this is 10 into 0 0.2 cap 3 plus 0 0.8 power 2. The value here is 0 0.72. 0 0.72 plus 0 0.2048. The value here is 0 point, the value for uh, probability of x less than the probability of 1 less than x less than 4 is 0 0.92 see here this value is 10 into so this is 10 into 0 0.2 power 3 into so this value is 0 0.8 square the value here is 0 0.0521. So, this value is 0 0.0512. And if I add these two plus, this is 0 0.2048. 2048, the value here is 0 0.256. So, this is uh, the correct answer. And see, now we got the probability of, probability of 1 less than x less than 4 as 0 0.256. And this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching. See, out of 5 items chosen, 1 is defective is 0 0.32768 and uh, 0 defective is 0 0.32768 and 1 is defective is 0 0.4096 and 
the probability of 1 less than x less than 4 is equal to 0 0.256. These are the answers and this is how we have to solve. This is the p value. This is uh, q value from the question we have uh, taken n as 5. And for 0 defective, we have to choose r is equal to 0. And for 1 defective item, we have to select r is equal to 1. And in between, x lies between 1 and 4. It is 2 and 3. So, we have to calculate this. And uh, this will be the answer 0 0.256. Thank you so much for watching.